Today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Dragon Hunter's Great Katana in Elden Ring. And this is from the DLC, just so you know. To get the Dragon Hunter's Great Katana, you have to kill the Ancient Dragon Men. And you have to kill the boss version, not the invader version of him. To find the Ancient Dragon Men, you need to go to Dragon's Pit, which is just across the bridge. And then if you start heading down south you will get the dragon's pit. If you are on the way down, you will get invaded by an uh, invader. And that's how you know you're going the right way. So when you're in the dragon's pit, there's a little bit of a, in quotes, puzzle for this. You want to go all the way down until you reach the bottom, like you would do with most caves. And then I have to show you a little part of it that's very important when it comes to getting the in quotes puzzle so i would go this way just to make it a bit quicker you don't have to go the same way i'm doing especially since there's such a big drop the enemies in here are not too bad to kill and just in general it, it's a good place to farm there is a message here that says be brave show no fear what i originally thought was that i would be able to cross an invisible bridge so i used rainbow stones but it didn't work so i literally just decided to fall and see what would happen and you fall a long way into the mountain. And when you land, you're going to be greeted by a boss door. Now, I've already killed the boss, so I'm not going to show you that. But also, it would be a bit spoiler if I did. He's quite a difficult boss. I mean, it took me a few goes to get him. But he's one of the more manageable bosses in the DLC. So I didn't find it that bad compared to some of the other ones. And I have to say, it was a fun fight too. One versus one, blood versus blood. And then you have the katana. So the katana is really good, especially for my build. It has a normal attack, obviously. Then it has your or two attack, which is so. And it also has a special attack. So I won't be able to put my own spells on this. And that is this. Stat requirements for the katana itself is 20 decks and 15 shred. So it doesn't look like it does any arc. Has a Blood loss build up of 55, and because of the fact that I have such a high amount of arc, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be doing a lot of bleed damage to enemies. And this is obviously without it being leveled up, which I'm going to level up it up right now. So it uses somber spitting stones. So let's level it up as much as we can and see what we get from it. This is perfect for me because I love katanas. And having a DLC katana is pretty cool too. So we're going to fully upgrade it straight away. And now let's have a look at its stats at plus 10. It's still a C for dex. Does 372 plus 219 physical damage. And guarded damage negation, physical 69. And it is an FP cost of 18. It weighs 10. Now, if I was to compare that to my main weapon, which is the Uch Katana, I want to see what my weight is with this. This is 5.5, okay? Do I have, I still have a medium roll, even with uh, full armor, so that's pretty good. So I think overall, it's a pretty solid weapon, and let's go test it out against something that bleeds so i'm just going to test it out here get some runes and then do a bit of leveling up we just want to see how many attacks does it take to kill these guys so it's taken two shots per how much bleed damage will do i will test that if none of these guys bleed i will test that against another enemy backstab damage i'm assuming it does full health yeah that's pretty good and then the l2 does Full damage as well. Can we hit multiple enemies at the same time? Oh, actually, looks like the guy behind me didn't die. So 989 damage with my special ability is actually less than what I had on the katana. Or the Uchi katana, I should say. So it's not as po powerful in that regard. But it doesn't take any of my health. And it also is a new weapon to mess around with so not a hundred percent sure yet if i'm going to be using this but it definitely seems perfect for my build if it can do enough damage against bosses one thing i really like about this weapon as well is it has a slice and it has a poke attack because 
if you go three times with the attack, you do a stab. Which, one thing that's missing in my fighting, per se, in Elden Ring, is that stab attack. So this is really good. I'm looking forward to using this against a lot of other bosses who are weak against stab. So yeah, that's how you get the Dragon Hunter's Great Katana. I hope you get some success with it. And thank you very much for watching today's video. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next one.